having the same boat and that continuity from one campaign to the next and going forward into the future means we'll get to a point where we're really refining the design of these boats. It felt like after last America's Cup, there was still a lot to be explored. And I think over this campaign and going forward into the next campaign, we'll really see the racing get much closer, which is exciting for us as sailors. Also some really kind of innovative stuff uh, happening in the design world. Simulators in the America's Cup have developed drastically over the last kind of decade or so, and now all teams are, are using them. The rules now dictate that we're only allowed to build one AC75, and there's also quite strict rules around the number of components that we can build. To be able to develop and design these components, such as foil wings, we really do use the simulator to kind of help us with that. The sim can be used in many different ways throughout the duration of a campaign. In the initial phase, it's really used for exploring concepts and designs, but then that goes all the way through to the latter phases where designs have been signed off, the boat we have is the boat we have, and it's really a case of making the most out of it, and we'll use that time then in the sim for tactical practice, racing practice. recent cup iterations, the use of wind tunnels and tow tanks has been banned with the emphasis to try and reduce the cost for teams. But obviously we're trying to fill a gap there and anything that we can do in, in the simulator world to allow us to do the same amount of learning before we go on the water is extremely valuable for the team. In this era of the America's Cup, it would be very hard to win without a simulator. I think we've seen the gains that teams have made in the last two or three iterations of the America's Cup and how well developed a boat they've managed to create off a lot of simulator tools. So I think you'd be hard pressed at the moment to be winning the America's Cup without a sim. With the relationship we have with Mercedes F1, there's a lot that we can learn in terms of how their simulations and simulators are developed. They've been under extremely strict rules in terms of track testing for many years now. That's something that we can really learn from as much as possible. It's impressive the level of modeling they're able to do and the level of trust that they have in, in their simulator. And I think that's what we as a team are striving towards.